In 1848, surgery was still very basic because of three major problems, pain, infection, and bleeding. Patients were often given alcohol during surgery to try to ease the pain, but there was no way to numb the body or make people unconscious so they would not be able to feel anything. This meant that the surgeon had to work extremely quickly to limit pain. The patient would be held down by several people but it was impossible to keep them still. Therefore surgeons often made mistakes and were only able to carry out simple operations. As people did not understand how infection occurred, they did not know how to prevent it during or after surgery. Surgeons, their assistants, and the patient wore their normal clothes. The surgeon might wash his hands, but did not wear gloves. The instruments used and the conditions in which surgery took place were unhygienic. Surgical wounds would be covered with unclean bandages that were not changed regularly. Therefore, those patients who survived an operation often died a few days or weeks later from infection. All surgery involves blood loss which makes it difficult for the surgeon to see what they are doing, which can lead to mistakes. However, blood loss is a major cause of death in its own right. When a person loses a lot of blood, their body goes into shock. If a lot more blood is lost then their organs cannot work and the person dies. There were several methods used to stop the patient losing blood in the mid-19th century, but they were all problematic. 1. Tourniquets were used to temporarily stop the blood flowing during the operation. By 1848, metal clamps were commonly used. This did stop the blood flow and helped the surgeon to see. However, sometimes it caused nerve damage as blood vessels were deprived of blood for too long. 2. After surgery, blood vessels were cauterized using metal tools heated in fire or boiling oil. This was extremely painful. It did stop the bleeding and the heat reduced the chance of infection. However, it often caused further damage to other body tissue. 3. Ligatures were another method used to stop blood loss after surgery. This was far less painful than cauterization. However, it was difficult to do this properly as the patient was not completely still. So sometimes this did not stop the bleeding. It also often led to infection from the ligatures themselves or the surgeon's hands. These methods might stop the bleeding but did nothing to replace the blood that had already been lost. If the patient went into shock they needed a blood transfusion.